Hey guys, what is up? I'd like to welcome you to a new video. In today's video, we'll be talking about Red Dead Redemption. Um, I just completed this game. It took me around around two weeks to complete. I um, I didn't really go for the all out, try and complete the game uh, straight away. So I thought it'd be good to talk about. Um, I was doing was going to do like a let's uh, let's play like a no com of it, but decided that I'd just rather just talk about the the entire game. I like I said, just completed it. This was this was a roller coaster. This game. Um, it was. I pretty much started this game to to get ready for Red Dead Redemption Two. Um, Red Dead Redemption Two is dropping soon, so I thought it'd only be it'd only be right to finish the first ever uh, Red Dead Redemption. So, with Red Dead Redemption, you start out you were John Marston. He's a he's a former outlaw and he's looking for a new life. Um, the a, a government agency they actually find him um, and they threaten his family's freedom and threaten their lives. It's it's pretty much up to John to. Um, Go across the American, the American West, and and pretty much do do a job for them and hunt down his old friends and gang partners. Um, you start the you, the story pretty much starts out you you you're going after his his brother um, and his stepbrother, someone that you he respects dearly, and someone that's uh, that he would have been with went before the before the Red Dead Redemption story. So um, that's pretty much the the goal of the game. I. I like I said I hadn't played this game for until until about two weeks ago and the story was the story the story was 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 crazy it was it was a really enjoyable story um, it was definitely up it was an emotional roller coaster it was up and down uh, you didn't really know how uh, things were gonna go but you did pretty much get the vibe of the game the vibe of the game was pretty much just to capture um, or even just kill his past gang members and if he didn't his family was gonna be murdered. Um, I found this game was around I reckon ten hours long. Like I said, two weeks to complete. I didn't really play into it fully and get right into it. But with the upcoming release of uh, Red Dead Redemption Two, I thought looking at the trailers and, and everything they they were showing, and with the uh, with the gameplay trailer that they released, I think it was three days ago, as you guys can see here. It was, I think it was only right to complete the game and get ready for this. I will be doing a let's play with. The uh, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, I don't know if it will be commentary or no commentary. I'm not too sure at the moment. Uh, I do enjoy playing these games and recording them. So make sure to comment down below if you want to see that. Red Dead Redemption 2 is looking great. Um, as you guys can see here, the graphics are looking crazy. They look really good. Um, I, like I said, it's it's going to be it's going to be massive. One of the biggest Rockstar releases of the year. And yeah, can't wait. So I thought I'd discuss some of the best moments that I enjoyed throughout the game. Um, there was some crazy bits that I enjoyed. I love f finally killing Bill. It took a while to, to kill Bill. It was pretty much I thought that was going to be the the entire story of the uh, of the of the game, but you actually do do it pretty early on. But once you kill Bill, the story starts to roll and it actually starts to uh, really get going. I it, like I said, the first part of the game, you're just trying to find Bill, and I really love this mission when you're going through Town Hall. Uh, this is where you get introduced to Dutch. Uh, this is another one of your past gang members, and he has no chill he'll do whatever to to kill anyone and he, it, it was that was that, that was an awesome mission i actually enjoyed this one as well you uh you head out to the to the native side and i think you're trying to connect with with all the different parts because it's the the city the city folk and all these people are just not connecting and this was also a really enjoyable miss mission I, I i felt that when this mission was completed this is when the story actually started to get really really deep and really into it um as we got closer and closer to finding uh, John's family as that was pretty much the main point of this completing all the things for the for the government so John could John could return to his family um, it's like I said it's it was an emotional roller coaster from probably midpoint of the game you don't really have a connection that you that you want but once you kill Bill and everything starts to roll I feel like that connection grows another um, important moment one of my favorite moments was was this um, this mission with Dutch you finally get Dutch um, you battle him in in some um, undermined caves, and then you you get out to this little uh, focal point, and he just discusses uh, why he's doing what he's doing, and and how he misses everything, um, how it used to be, and I think John John didn't really want to set out to kill him, but Dutch had no no other option. He was either going to be killed or he's going to be thrown in prison, and I'm I'm pretty sure the the government what they were they were going to kill him. So you see him take his own life here. This was an awesome moment of the game, and I can't wait to see what he does in Red Dead Redemption Two. He was the leader of the of the gang, so it's going to be interesting. Another mission I enjoyed was when you actually got back to your family and you 
met your son, your your wife Abigail, and you, and you start and this is one of the just the simple mission. You just go hunting, pretty much go out hunting um, with with Jack. It's it's a weird transition. You go from trying to you go from pretty much being an outlaw to just a farm a farmer and, and someone who lives um, just working by the farm, working with the farm, which was which was a it was a weird. I I thought it was going to go up a notch and it was going to go again, but. It's pretty much just like normal life. You, he was an outlaw. He all he wanted to do was live with his family and get everything over with. And this was one of my favorite missions when he got back to the farm. Um, when he pretty much returns the farm life. But and like I said, one of the best moments. Not one of the best, but one of the most uh, moments that will one of the moments that will stick out was when John he actually finally gets killed. So spoiler warning: if you guys haven't played the game yet, um, John, I was shocked when John was killed. I didn't think they would actually do this to him. And, and kill him off like that, but John, one of the best, probably emotional uh, clips of the game where he pretty much sacrifices and himself to save his family, and he was never ever gonna get through um, after everything happened. And pretty much just a wrap. This game was 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 unreal. I definitely will um, play Red Dead Redemption Two. I'd love to go through this again and just probably do things a little bit different. Um, try and probably uh, get his shooting up a little bit better. Try and get some of his attributes up better, but. This was probably one of my favorite games um, that I've played ever. An Xbox 360 game still holds up well. It's 2018. I, th I think this released in 2010 or 2011, somewhere around there. So this game still holds up. And to finish off the video, I thought, why not see one of my one of the probably the best moments of the game where Jack is grown up. He goes back to deal with his government um, people that ended up killing John, and he confronts them and tells them that he's the son of John Marston, and he's pretty much here to kill him. Um, one of the probably best moments. If they didn't have this in the game, I think the game probably would leave us all a bit angry and upset, not knowing what was going to happen and would Jack actually return and, and kill um, his his and and avenge his father for what for what has happened. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll probably do a little bit more um, like this as I move on. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. And now I know. Compass that I need is the one that leads back to you, and I know the only compass that I need oh, is the one.